All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Math Lesson 40. Today we're back on division. We are writing quotients with mixed numbers. And just a quick little reminder, a mixed number is a whole number and a fraction. There are no remainders. So let's see more about this. So just a reminder, a mixed number is a whole number and a fraction together. And I gave you some examples like 3 and a third, or 5 and 1 eighth, or 9 and 3 tenths, etc. So we might start off seeing some graphical representations where they want you to write a mixed number, a whole number and a fraction, to name the number of shaded circles in each diagram. So here I have one whole circle. So you'll just write the whole number one. And if they're talking about the shaded pieces, we know that the numerator is the number of pieces they're talking about. So I'll give three for a numerator. And the denominator is always the total number of pieces, in which case I have four. So if they're asking you to write a mixed number, it would be one and three-fourths for this example. So they might go and ask you to go and draw and shade circles to represent each mixed number. And here they used words. They said three and a half. So that's okay right now. Start off drawing three whole circles and get them shaded, right? There's your three circles. And then draw the last circle and cut it into however many pieces they describe. In this case, they're saying a half. So just go ahead and shade it like that. Three and one half. So the reason why they want you to be able to write quotients as mixed numbers is sometimes there's some quotient answers that don't really lend themselves to a remainder. Take a look at this one. Paco, Alejandro, and Lucy shared seven chicken pot pies. How many pot pies does each person get? So. If I set this up as regular division, what we know so far, 3 would divide into 7 two whole times, multiply back for 6, subtract for 1, and you would have 2 remainder 1 for what we know about division so far, right? Who ever heard of 2 remainder 1 pot pies? So... What do you do with the remaining one pie? So we already said Paco gets two, Alejandro gets two, and Lucy gets two. You're taking that last remaining pot pie and having to share it with each person, right? In which case, Paco would get two and a third. Alejandro would get two and a third, and Lucy over here would get two and one third, right? Now, how do we actually do that? What's the algorithm, Mr. Hines? So here it is. To write any quotient as a mixed number instead of with the remainder, use the remainder as the numerator of the fraction. Use the divisor as the denominator of the fraction. So here, if I had a quotient that was originally 129 remainder one, it says use the remainder as the numerator. So I would have 129 and a fraction of one. Use the divisor as the denominator. The divisor is the number you're dividing by, right? So instead of 129 remainder one, if they want you to write it as a 
mixed number, write 129 and one-fifth. Now, to start off with, we're, when we have our regular dividing problems, you can still go ahead and write them with remainders, only if they tell you specifically to write the answer with a mixed number do you have to worry about it. If it's a regular old dividing problem, feel free to use a remainder still, okay? So let's check this out. We remember our division rules. And I set this all up just because sometimes we still have some people with an issue about where to start dividing, right? If I'm going to start dividing into 37, I need a quotient number above the 7, and I need one more above the 5, right? So normally this would have been 41 remainder 6, but how to write it as a mixed number? Again, your remainder would be your numerator and your divisor would be your denominator. So instead of 41 remainder 6, I can write it 41 and 6 ninths. Let's do one more like this, and I set it up again because this time we're starting to divide into the 6. So I needed a quotient number nice and neat above that 6, another one nice and neat above the 4, and another one nice and neat above that last 6. I have a remainder of 1, but if they wanted us to write it as a mixed number instead of saying R1, that 1 would be the numerator, and what I'm dividing by, my divisor, would be my denominator. So instead of 129 remainder 1, if I wanted to write it as a mixed number, 129 and 1 fifth. All right, that is the end. Not too much of a lesson right now. One simple algorithm, but you are definitely going to want scratch piece of paper and a pencil for the Socrative quiz. And good luck.